Hello everybody, my name is Edson, I work with Firebird SQL Database and I have a channel called MQFS in Portuguese. That there is a lot of kind of videos with tips, configuration, a lot of things, everything about Firebird SQL Database and this is my first video in English. I'm not so good in English but I will try to do my best here, okay? So for this video I want to show you how to install Firebird SQL Database 5.0 at Linux, Ubuntu 22, and let's see how it works. Okay, this is an empty machine. I don't have any, any Firebird SQL database installed here, and I want to download it with you at the Firebird SQL website. Okay, and then you can go to firebirdsql.org, come to downloads, okay, and then you are going to ask for your version. We know that Firebird 5, 4, and 3 are still continuing to have updates, but the 2.5 is, is discontinued. Okay, and then click here to download the Firebird 5. Let's choose the x64 for Linux, and then here we can copy this link. Why is it important to make download from here? Because this is the appropriate way to install the Firebird SQL database. There is some kind of installation that you can do by the repository of Linux, but it's not a, a good way to install. Why? Because when you install by the Linux repository, you need to find a lot of different places that Firebird is going to be installed. They are not going to be at one only path. It's so difficult to have some maintains, for example. And then we need to choose this first version here from Firebird SQL database. Not debugging, because debugging is for another kind of purpose. But to test, just to test, this is an installation for tests only, okay? Let's copy here the link with copy, okay? After copying, we can go to the terminal and let's do the, the installation only in terminal, okay? Because this is important to do by, uh, by the terminal to be able to install at any kind of version, even if you don't have the uh, desktop interface, okay? Okay, so let's use our wget to download this link and paste our link here, okay? Let's download it. Okay, uh -huh. permission denied. Let's let's run it with sudo. Okay, sudo, enter my password. Okay, this is our download. Let's see it. Okay, it's here with tar.gz. Let's unpack it with tar minus xvf. Oh, okay, I forgot to put here my, my file name. Let's put firebird, enter. No permissions, sudo, enter. Okay, now we can see that it's, it's unpacked. Let's enter the folder with cd firebird ll. We can see here the install.sh, yeah? Install.sh already has the execution permission, okay? This is important to start uh, installing the Firebird SQL database. There is one important thing we can we need to install before installing this the Firebird database. If you want to install this by install.sh, you can do this, but it's going to probably it's going to to give you uh, an advice that it's missing uh, a special library. Okay, and then, and then let's install it. The library name is Libitone Math One. Okay, let's do it apt install libtonmath1 so no permissions let's never forget sudo trying to find it should not get locked okay problems okay i cannot install it now i don't know why but there is some process which is not allowing me to to install it and then let's restart the machine and see what is it going to happen Reboot, sudo, reboot, never forget sudo, okay? This is a virtual machine made, uh, supported by VMware. Let's just wait a little bit. I will come back soon. Okay, I rebooted my server and let's open the terminal. Let's go to the opt path. CD Firebird. Okay, so here. Let's try to install again the libdomath. sudo apt install libdomath1. The password. 
Okay, now this is stunning. I don't know, but it's a problem with my machine. Virtual machine is just for this, just for, for testing. Okay, now we have the, the library installed. It's necessary for Firebird version. Depending on the version you are going to install, it's going to be necessary also to install the lib and courses. Okay, fine. Then you can install it if necessary. Let's try to install the Firebird SQL database. And if it's, it were necessary to install the, the Libyan courses, we are going to install it. So let's see. First, first of all, we must put sudo, no, for sure, dot bar install.sh. Okay, enter. It's going to install the Firebird SQL version 5. Enter. Let's wait. Password for sysdba. If you do not have the sysdba, ask for a password. Probably you have some kind of old installation here. So you need to be sure that you already uninstalled everything and, and uh, mainly to see if there is some security5.fdb at the Firebird folder. But if you do not have, if this is going to ask you for the password for sysdba, and that's okay. If it asks you, it's all okay in your installation. Okay, let's put it here, master key, the main password. Okay, install complete. How can we test it? Let's see. Firstly, the telnet localhost 3050, the default door of Firebird database. Let's press enter. Okay, this is connected. This is because the, the service is already running. Okay, how can we see it by another way? Let's see. System CTL status Firebird. Firebird. Dot service. Okay. Enter, we can see it's active, ready. Now, this is the only thing you need to do for testing, only testing, okay? There is some kind of configurations of settings we need to do here at Linux to be possible to have a good experience with Firebird SQL database. This is uh, the full install, and this installation is only for poor machines, okay? You cannot put this kind of installation to uh, run in production because this has simply the most poor configuration at Firebird.conf. If you want to know how to configure, to, to do the best settings to this machine, don't forget to follow me at this channel because I'm going to do a new video just to say about the configuration. So now let's test it. How can I test? We can see that in CD bar opt Firebird bin we have some binaries and these binaries we can use the isql to try to connect to a database okay the full installation of firebird gives you a default database to try to connect the employee.fdb let's find it and try to connect okay enter we can connect remember to write it at uh, uppercase okay connect localhost the port it is running and then the, the full path of database. We can put just employee.fdb because it's configured by uh, an alias, okay? Employee.fdb is a database already configured by the full. So let's put the authentic authentication as user csdba password master key, okay? We have just configured this password at the installation. So enter. So it seems it's not connected yet. So let's change the command, putting all the all the path. Opt Firebird. Let's erase it. Firebird examples. Amp build employee FDB. Okay, let's try it. And I saw it now. This is because I write it wrongly. Okay. Connect. This is the right way. Okay. Let's try again. So now we are connected. Let's try to make a select. Okay. It's connected, working very well. So this is how we can install the Firebird SQL database at Linux. I hope I could help you by some way. And remember, this is only for testing. This is still not configured to have great, pay great performance. If you are looking for performance, you need to do some configuration, some settings. 
and I am going to show it to you at the next videos. So follow me and we will see again. See you.